my beautiful wildflowers. Alexis here with Oat Modesty. I hope you're having a good day. Today, what I want to share with you is a small haul that I made at Sephora, and there's some new merchandise that's there, and I want to share it with you. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. <music> My beautiful wildflowers are you ready I do have a quite a number of items so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you one at a time what I picked up and then I will also instead of showing uh, swatches live I'll go ahead and uh, take a picture of the swatches and put them on a screen right over here and so take a look and see what you like and give me some feedback so here we go item number one Okay, this is actually, I didn't buy this. This was given to me because it's my birthday month. And so what they do is if you are part of their rewards program, um, they give you a birthday gift. And this is what I received for my birthday gift. It's by Milk. And it looks like there is a um, mascara and a lip and cheek. And as well as, let's see, a Hydro Grip Primer. So this is just like, you know, in an envelope. And then here is the milk. Is that upside down? Nope, that's right. Um, and it is not a waterproof mascara. It's called Kush Mascara. And then this other piece here is, oh, very cute. There's a lid on here, so the seal. And it looks like a little color for lips and cheek. So cute, very cute. Okay, that was the first piece. And next I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this is what I wanted before and this is called the salted caramel and it's by Too Faced and this is the limited edition on the fly eyeshadow palette and so this uh, you know I imagine this to be bigger but actually I don't know if they come in a bigger uh, version of this but this is actually a smaller version and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the colors here they are they're very pretty okay and then you should be seeing a swatch of this on a screen um i have to talk one of my family members into letting me borrow his arm so that way i can swatch it and put the pictures up okay and then um like i said this is pretty new and it says in the back here says indulge in this richly seductive salted caramel scented palette of warm buttery neutrals that will have you feeling like a sweet treat hold on a minute here this is it smells like something i like things that smell nice but you know you know how i feel about fragrance right but oh it does taste like caramel it's just like their um their chocolate um palette that smells like chocolate hmm it's very nice okay next okay this is something that i've gotten a six week um trial for and this is by grand brow grand or grand oh my god i can really talk not okay it's by grand and it's the brow enhancing serum and i had the small version of it that i used for six weeks and it actually helped growing my eyebrows I couldn't believe it it was you know I've tried everything in the past and nothing worked and even my lady that used to thread my eyebrows for me she told me to use mineral oil and this and that it never worked but then this thing I got it in a one of the boxes I think it was a ipsy box and I tried it and it really worked I was very surprised because unfortunately in the 70s we used to tweeze our eyebrows so thin and I barely had any eyebrows left so but this has really been helping and this is the full size version of it and this is actually very good but quite expensive um, unfortunately these are cost prohibitive for a lot of people I believe this piece here was $70 but um, I'll have to look that up to be sure okay and in the next piece here it's by Fenty Beauty by Rihanna 
this was on sale actually down from $54 I think to 29 and I accidentally saw this and I said you know what I'm gonna pick it up because look at the colors they're very nice I don't know if I'm gonna be able to swatch every one of these um, but um, I'll go ahead and include a swatch um, on the screen here so that way at least you can see what it looks like and you know how I feel about um, aesthetics right i love a beautiful thing so look how pretty this is right it's all like holographic and it says fenty beauty and let me share i'm sure this is going to be a huge mirror it is okay so i will try to cover this up and here you go i hope you're able to see this but these colors are so beautiful i'm looking forward to really swatching it so okay and like I said, this was on sale for $29. It was the last one there. And I, I accidentally, you know, I looked at it and I said, hmm, did those look pretty? Um, because they, because of the COVID, they don't allow you to test anything right now. So, you know, the tester wasn't even out. So when I saw the box, I said, it, it looks pretty nice. And then I quickly pulled out my phone and looked it up. And I, I saw how nice it was. I said, oh my gosh, $29. I'm really going to take that. So this is very nice. Okay, the next piece, uh, this is the one that I think a lot of people are wondering about. This is new, and this is the, uh, let's see, Pat McGrath Labs, and it's called MTHRSP Rose Decadence. So, this is the one that I think everybody's talking about. This was also the last one there, which means a lot of people are interested in it. And so, this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, not only swatch this one but i think i'm going to go ahead and do a um you know first impressions video on it you know i'll go ahead and put it on and um and get my first impressions of what i think about it and so let's see mm, this is kind of weird uh how do i open this uh okay let's see looks like there's like tape i'm not sure if that's tape but it won't let me open so hold on one second oh wow yeah we can do this okay ah i see there's like a safety seal on it you see i wonder if that's one-sided or two-sided <laughs> oh and i got it all over me oh it's just one-sided oh very nice there you go and this is something that i think people have been um talking about uh, I've seen chatter and people are asking about it, people ordering it. So here it is, and I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, swatch this for you. Um, and then I will do my first impressions video probably. Um, today I have a whole face full of makeup already. Probably tomorrow morning I can get this done. And so people can see um, the product, how it works, and um, the texture and everything like that. But it looks beautiful. So yeah, I'll, I'll work on that, okay? And next, um, okay, this is by Laura Mercier. I love her cream um, stick, um, not eyeliner, but um, eyeshadow, kind of, I'm sorry. I'm having problems speaking here. I can't find my words. I haven't had enough coffee today, I think, yeah. So anyway, sorry about that. And this is um, called a Stargazer Mini Caviar Quartet. And um, they call it caviar because all her uh, stick eyeshadows are called um, caviars. And so the quartet means there's four. Oh, very nice. And let's see. Ah, let's see. Hold on. And, oh, very nice uh, colors. I think these I can swatch for you, okay? Yeah, I can swatch these for you because they're small. The other ones, I can't uncover my arm, so I have to you know get a volunteer from my family to volunteer their arms so uh let's see it would be easier if i just turn the thing around i'm just sitting here okay hmm there's one that you could barely see because it's almost the same color as my arm though that's always a problem Okay, I think you can see that. It looks like there is three shimmers and one matte, which is interesting. But like I said, I love her 
eyeshadows. Okay, let's see, can you see this? Uh, I think you should be able to see that. Okay, and the colors are, let's see, what are the colors? Does it say? Hmm, it really doesn't say on the box, so. Okay, I'll see if I can find it and put it up um, in the descriptions for you. And it's not even really on the stick, so it's kind of hard. Hmm. Okay. All right, moving on now. Okay. Oh, and NARS. I love NARS. And um, I know I've given away um, my last set of um, NARS eyeshadow because um, I have a bigger palette. Um, and that was a small uh, miniature mini uh, orgasm palette. But this is something that I try to get every year. And around Christmas time is when it comes out because otherwise uh, it's, it doesn't come out in this size. They have them all the time. But this is a special packaging and it is my orgasm um, blush. So here is the container. You can see my, you can see my screen. That's funny. Hello, <laughs> and here it is. And this is the basic, the regular orgasm um, blush. And this is so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and then I, I actually buy this every year because, let me show you what happens to my, this was my last one that I got, right? <laughs> you see? I use it a lot. And so after a while, this starts to break apart and then um, I can't take it anywhere with me. So I always get a new one when I can. And it comes out around the holidays. And so I look for them. And um, when it does come out, I do pick them up um, because I like the bigger ones. Okay, and next, oh, th this was a freebie that they gave me. Um, it's called the, it's for being a beauty insider and it's the Coco Bomb Bomb. Um, lotions. I, I, it's such a big deal right now. I'm seeing it all over the place. Um, these are very cute. It's called um, Coco Cabana Cream and Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Hmm. Okay, so like this. Aren't they cute? But they are actually, they were a gift uh, for being a insider. And they have different tiers, um, depending on how much money you spend. Um, they have the regular insider, they have the VIB, and um, I, I am a VIB, so I get a couple, of, I think this was also for my birthday, and so I got a couple of things from them. Okay, oh, and another thing too, this is not, you know, and not anything, to, not a big deal, but I read in one of my Facebook groups um, about this, anesthesia beverly hills and it is the primer and you know i've talked about primers i don't use primers but you know i've noticed that um some of my not so much my cream sticks because they don't transfer but a lot of times like this eyeshadow this is dark right and it's powder and it sometimes would transfer from bottom to top and it's it doesn't stay on a long time so i read a couple of the women on the site used this and they i mean really swore up and down this was the best thing next to sliced bread so i, I wanted to give it a try so i'm gonna try it and then give you guys feedback on what i think about this anesthesia beverly hills primer um on the lid so i'll give you a report back on it Okay. Oh, and the next thing, you know, when you stand in line uh, of like Sephora, they, I swear they purposely make you go in and out and in and out of the aisles because, and then they put these things there, right? Different merchandise. So I saw this and you know, I love um, sunscreen. It, it just, it's just my thing. I love sunscreen. I saw this thing and I really like Super Goop brand anyway. And then I saw this and it's setting powder, SPF 45 setting powder. And so I said, you know, just I'm gonna give this a try and see if it's any good. And so it's just sunscreen. It's nothing fancy, I don't think. Yeah, um, yeah, it looks like this and this powder here. And then I imagine, okay, that's interesting. Um, you know, it comes out of there maybe. Oh yeah, okay, it comes out of there. And then you can kind of close it off like this after you use it. So, okay, I give it a try because, you know, I'm all about sunscreen. I love sunscreen. And people ask me, you know, what did you do to, with your skin? You know, I mean, for my age, it's not bad. Well, 
sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I can't say that enough. Even if I'm not wearing any makeup at all, always sunscreen. Even when I'm in the house, it's it, three times a day I put on sunscreen. Yeah, it is what it is. So, okay, let's see. What else do I have in this box? Okay, this was also a uh, free gift, right? Yes, it's a pure cleansing clay mask. And this was a sample. And I'm going to show you. They gave me a whole bag of samples. You see that? That's like all samples. And so I think I have a hole here. So I think it fell out of there. Because I didn't buy it. Okay. And oh, and I, this is another thing that I picked up while I was waiting in line. Uh, see, these things, it's a trap. It's a trap. They trap you. It's like Disneyland. You know, you go through this line, but then they put merchandise. Uh, and then so when you see it, like, oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. I really don't. But I said, you know what? Hmm, instantly sexy lips. Let's see. And it said 97%. Of the people says it's deliver instant results. 97% lips feel moisturized. And 93% said their lips looked fuller and more plump. And you know what? I'm always, I'm, I'm very big into statistics. Um, it's part of my job. And I'm always looking at what is the N? How many people is, is this? Is this like five people? Or is this a million people? How many people did they ask to get these statistics? So yeah, I would always like to know that. But you know. Eh, I'll look it up. No big deal. So we'll try it and see if I can get some mm, luscious lips like they say. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. And next. Oh, and you know what? And I also picked up a couple of um, gel liners by Marc Jacobs. Um, I love his waterproof gel liner because I'm not huge into liquid eyeliners and because I'm not good at it, to be honest with you. Um, or the pencil eyeliner, uh, pencil meaning the um, felt tip eyeliners, and I have tons of them. Uh, let's see, where, where are they at? Okay, hold on one second here. I do have them all over the place, but now I, now I don't know where they're at. But um, I usually have like four or five of them because they usually come in um, Ipsy or something like that. And it's a felt tip with a brush liquid or the gel eyeliner. And I'm very good at it. So I, I like the pencil better. And plus I don't make any wings and all that fancy stuff. Um, so because I have hooded lids, I, it's not that I don't like the, I, um, I don't like the uh, wings because I love them and I wish I could make them. Be but because I have hooded lids, uh, when I make the wings, it, you can't see it. It doesn't look good. It, it looks kind of silly. So I just don't make them. But I wish I could. And this is in pink. You see? And this is to actually help me pop my eyes. And, you know, put it underneath here with the dark, with the light underneath. And it makes your eyes really pop when you put them, these underneath. And so they come like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me swatch this here. Oh, yeah. Okay. And look how bright that is. That's this right here. Okay. And that goes underneath the eyes and it really makes your eyes pop. So I'll be using this. And I actually had some and then I ran out and then I didn't even think to get them ever. And then I saw it today. So well, let me get that. And then I got another one. This is a smaller one because this is a fine line. It's really thin and it's smaller. And this is for areas that I have a hard time um, getting to, which is like my upper lids. Yeah. What is going on? Why, why do I have such trouble with, you know, I was born with this thing where she will not be able to ever open boxes properly without difficulties. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Okay, see, same thing, except for it's thinner. And this one is actually white, right? Yes, this is white. Where is it? Hey, who are you? Hmm, I don't know if it's broken or what's going on. I have to try it, but oh no, here it comes. It's white. And I put that one next to the pink. See, it's right there. And again, that's, or underneath, depending. Okay, that's that. And is that it? Oh no, no, I have a couple of other things. And here we go. These are actually liquid liners. And the reason why, the reason why I really went to uh, uh, Sephora today was just to get these. It's a glitter liner, a, a glitter eyeshadow. And these are the colors and see if I can swatch them. The reason why is because uh, one of the subscribers, one of my beautiful wildflowers, asked me for a tutorial or a um, just a uh, makeup for with glitter and with eyeliner and lashes. 
um, and I didn't have anything with glitter. So I said, you know what, I, I have to do that one. So let me go and see if I can find it. This is the only reason why I went there. And look what happened. I came back with so many things. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, this is actually by Bite Beauty, right? Yes, it's called uh, Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Eyeshadow. Ombre, oh, that's in French, never mind. <laughs> it's gonna read it in French too. And so there's two different colors. This one here is actually everything and more. And this is really pretty. You see right there? Can you see that? Right there. You see, it's got the sparkles. That's very nice. And then this one here looks a little more muted because I said in case that's too bright because it looked kind of brassy. This one is a little bit lighter, I think. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, just a different shade. And in this way, instead of like trying to work with the, um, uh, the glitter, and trying to buy the you know the glitter glue and all that I said you know what I just I'm just gonna make it easy for myself this way because like I said I don't I didn't own anything and then this is what um, one of the viewers uh, one of the wildflowers um, asked for and now only other challenges she said lashes I'm wondering if do you mean like false lashes because I don't do false lashes because of the glue um, I'm sensitive to the glue, and, but I could see if I can find a glue that's not so, you know, that's not so um, strong, I guess. Or maybe I can find some magnetic lashes or something like that because I try to stay away from chemicals near my eyes um, because I'm sensitive to certain things. Like I don't put fragrance on me and things like that. And so, but I will try my best, okay? I promise, I will try my best. But glitter I can do. And then, you know, I'll go ahead and see how that comes out. Yeah, I might really fall in love with it. So we'll see. Okay, and then I think that's it for my haul, but the rest of it is like a giveaway. Um, here is the Sunday Riley A Plus Serum, and definitely these things will be going into my giveaway because I don't, I don't use Sunday Riley um, products. And um, you know, I know a lot of people love it, but there's an ethical issue with that with me. Um, there is a big history with Sunday Riley. I don't know if you know her history, um, but there was a lot of questions as to the claim she made that um, she went to school to um, actually study um, all of this, you know, makeup and um, engineering and things like that. And um, come to find out she really didn't. And so there was some issues. She was sued at one time. And another thing too, um, I don't know if people realize she did have a um, makeup line, cosmetics line for a hot minute. And then uh, they had to pull it back because it didn't do well. And so, but there's some ethical things that surrounding that. And um, um, as, let's say I don't agree with her, um, her practices, so I don't support her um, products. But um, people love them, and it, that's okay. That's okay. And so, but um, I will be giving that away for because I don't use it. And okay, and here again, the Coco Bum Bum. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a shampoo and a conditioner now. Coco Bum Bum, Brazilian Coco Bum Bum, right? Yeah, hmm. okay, I'll give that a try. And then there is Moroccan oil. I love Moroccan oil. Oh, that was my glasses, that's okay. I love Moroccan oil, and it looks like a some kind of a conditioner or oil. And uh, what is this, what are you? Hydrating cream, okay. To use, apply a small amount of damp or dry hair, style as usual. Okay, I can do that. And um, yeah, I love putting things like this on my hair. Um, it just, mmm. So okay, and there's some Claudel Living Proof Shampoo samples. Um, there is, again, some gloss, hair gloss, right? Uh, unpigmented deep conditioner and gloss. Oh, see, I could use things like this because there's no fragrance. But a lot of these I usually throw in as a, um, uh, just like a sample for, for my giveaways and things like that that I don't use. And um, so it's just like a bunch of samples of stuff. Oh, Pureology, uh, leave-in conditioner spray, things like that. And so, okay, that is that. 
Ah, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as I said, the first video I will do as far as first impressions would be this one here, okay? And uh, like I said, this is Pat McGrath um, Laboratories, and everybody wants to know about it. So I'll go ahead and um, probably film this tutorial tomorrow and hope to have it up in the early in the week. Um, and give you my first impressions of what I think and is it worth it is it not because it is quite expensive her line and so now I will do a review on it so I hope you had fun and if any of this added value please hit like and also please subscribe if you don't subscribe already and click on that bell so you get notification every time I upload a new video and right now I've been uploading, I think at least six videos a week. Um, I'm probably going to slow down here soon, but not that much because I still have a lot to say and a lot of great information to share with my beautiful wildflowers. So if you're not part of the wildflower family yet, please subscribe. And as always, remember, don't sweat the small stuff. Have a good day. Bye-bye.